Hello, best friend, and welcome to, well, welcome to Sebastian's podcast, bitch. I mean, listen, you, I am a daily tea channel, right? And I spill tea every day. Doesn't matter if I'm traveling, doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter what's going on, or even if I'm a little under the weather, which that's today's, um, that's today's situation. So, I thought, you know what, girl? Let me spill the tea in a very podcast way. I don't want to scare you guys with my appearance today. And I don't want to leave you guys without your daily dose of tea. So I said, you know what, girl? Let's just do it this way. So hopefully it's just today. Send me some good vibes and tomorrow we'll be back. But you guys, I wanted to I wanted to talk to you guys um, and welcome you guys to my channel. I hope you're having a really good day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, this only happens when I am not feeling well or massively hungover. Um, but I hope that you know that when I, you know, as a daily vlogger, life happens and you just got to roll with it. So um, sit back and relax and let's spill some tea. So I, the amount of videos that I received yesterday um, of Mr. Justin Bieber after I posted that video of Justin Bieber uh, called out for being rude to fans. You guys, you went in, bitch. You sending me videos left and right. And I have seen most of them, but I've never talked about them. So there is this one video, which is, I would say, very chaotic to say the least very chaotic so take a look at this video and then we can talk <laughs> Happy holidays, Jake. Happy holidays, Just. It's not gonna happen today. Oh. Do you know okay. when? Have a good one, Just. Justin, I'm gonna keep you in my forest. Happy holidays, Jake. Happy holidays, Just. It's not gonna happen today. Oh. Do you know when? Have a good one, Just. Justin, I'm gonna keep you in my forest. You guys get what you needed or what? I got you, Justin. You guys get what you needed. So, you know, here's the thing. I I have to say, watching this video and seeing the lack of empathy for Mr. Bieber. Now, listen, I will tell you something. I am definitely a firm believer that, you know what? Yes, you are in the public eye. Yes, you do have somewhat of a responsibility for your fans. Yes, you have to take accountability for your actions like everybody else. Yes. But I also have to say that everyone is entitled to have their boundaries. Doesn't matter if they're rich and famous. Doesn't matter if they, you know, if they seem to, you know, doesn't matter anything. There's no, boundaries are very important and you have to have them. And he looks, in my opinion, like he just feels so disrespected you know and i'm not entirely sure what the fan said i think it was an autograph or something he said it's not gonna happen today and i have to say like as much as i love 
Britney and I love Selena Gomez. And I would, if I ran into them and I would just see them and they look like they were having a really bad day. I don't think I would have the nerve to go up to them and say, hey, you look really upset, but do you mind if like you take a picture with me? You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know how people process and I get it. You see your favorite artists in person, you lose all kinds of, you know, thought, your thought process froze, freezes up. You get chills, your heart goes crazy. Like you are, you go crazy and I get it. Trust me, I get it. Oftentimes I fantasize about meeting my favorite artist, but I feel like the older I get, the more sympathy I have, you know? And for me, I've said this ever since I started talking about Justin Bieber. I think that Justin is done with this whole world. I think he is done. I think he doesn't care. I think that he is over it. I think that he's been working since he's, what, 12 or something? And, you know, he's like 30. He's going to be 30 or 31. He's done. And I think fans are not understanding that. And I think that it's going to have to take him to say something. He has not addressed his fans in a very long time. His Instagram basically looks like a Hailey Bieber fan, fan page. And he has not addressed his fans in a very long time. And I think that fans should honestly take it as a sign. Take it as a sign, girl. He is done with it. And I think that he wants to focus on his wife and his life and, you know, enjoy the fruits of his labor. But then I think about it on the other way and I say, well, you know what, Justin? You are also a public figure. If you don't want to get into these situations, then avoid them like other celebrities do. There is a reason why Justin Bieber always has to take the front door. And I believe it's because Haley wants to get photographed. That's my belief. And I don't think I'm going to, you know, take that back. I really do believe that that's the case. I think that for Haley, in my opinion, she doesn't hate the paparazzi. I don't think she does. I might be dead wrong. I don't know the girl. But what if she really, really loves this and he knows this? Maybe she hasn't asked him directly. But what if he knows it deep down inside that if they get photographed, her road sales go up. If they get photographed, her YouTube views go up. If they get photographed, there's a higher chance for brands to reach out and want to hire her. Her career is just starting, you guys. His isn't. And that's something very important to understand and to put in the equation as to why he might not have quit just yet. Completely. You never see Beyonce go out in a front a, a door. You never see Britney Spears go out. You never see, you know, I mean, you hardly ever see people because security teams are there to, they're there to make sure that you are safe and that you could go from one place to another as quickly and as as easy and smooth as possible. And for some odd reason, we always see Justin Bieber out and about. So is it lack of his, their security team kind of scoping out the place and figuring things out beforehand? Or could it literally just be that he just knows that being photographed is going to help Haley? Which one do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not trying to be hateful. And I'm thinking to myself, listen, if I was Justin and, you know, Haley was my husband, I would, I would sacrifice that for my husband because I know it will help him. 
you do that for your couple. But then it's your couple's job to say, I think you might be doing this for me and I never want you to jeopardize your mental health for me. You know, I'll find other ways to get my name out there. If that's the case, of course, that's just my opinion. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, again, I don't think he was rude. I just think he's so over it. And yes, maybe he did come off as a little rude, actually. But I just think that it's going to get worse. People, the less that he interacts with his fans online, the more hunger there's going to be for Justin out in public. The more people are going to be obsessed with finding him, with trying to get a picture with him, and it's going to be some kind of game. Who can get a picture with Justin? And it's just going to make life out in, in about hell. So he has to figure it out. There are other ways for him to get in and out. And if he wants to quit, he should be able to quit. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really hope you understand me today. And, you know, the fact that I really, I'm trying to save you guys from seeing my appearance. You will not want to see it. Trust me, I look crazy. But I love you all. I'm very grateful for you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when I know I'm going to feel a lot better. And I love you all very much. Mwah.